Hey, what's up everybody, it's EF, and have you ever felt like you're working hard but not getting anywhere financially? Like you're stuck in a rut, living paycheck to paycheck and just can't seem to get ahead? Well, you're not alone. Millions of people struggle with their finances and it's often because they're unknowingly believing in money myths that are keeping them broke. These myths, passed down through generations or perpetuated by those who don't know any better, can sabotage your financial well-being and prevent you from achieving your financial goals. They can hold you back from investing, starting a business, buying a home, or simply having peace of mind when it comes to your money. In today's video, we'll uncover the top 5 financial myths that are preventing you from reaching your financial freedom and show you how to overcome them. We'll break down these limiting beliefs and replace them with practical strategies and a mindset shift that will empower you to take control of your finances and build real wealth. Let's talk about debt. Now I know what you're thinking. Debt? That's the enemy. Avoid it like the plague. And while yes, there's definitely bad debt that can cripple your finances, the truth is not all debt is created equal. In fact, there's such a thing as good debt debt that can actually help you build wealth over time. Would you rather be completely debt-free, living in a tiny apartment, driving a beat-up car and working a dead-end job you hate? Or take on reasonable debt to invest in education, start a business, or buy a property that generates income and appreciates in value? That's the difference between good debt and bad debt. Bad debt is high-interest consumer debt like credit card debt or payday loans that drags you down financially. It's impulsive spending on things you don't need, with interest rates designed to keep you trapped in debt. Good debt is strategic debt that helps you build wealth or increase your earning potential. This could be a low-interest mortgage on a rental property that generates passive income, a student loan for a degree that leads to a higher-paying job, or a business loan to launch a company with potential for significant returns. The key is to be smart, strategic, and responsible with your debt. Before taking on any debt, ask yourself, what is the purpose of this debt? Is it to acquire an asset that will appreciate in value or generate income? Or is it to fund a lifestyle I can't actually afford? Educate yourself, make informed decisions, and leverage good debt to your advantage. Here's another myth that's holding too many people back. You need a high income to achieve financial independence. This simply isn't true. While it's true that a higher income can make things easier, it's not the determining factor when it comes to building wealth and achieving financial freedom. I've met countless individuals with modest incomes who have achieved incredible financial success, and I've also seen people with six-figure salaries who are drowning in debt. The truth is, it's not about how much money you make, but rather how much you keep and what you do with it. Think of it like this. Your income is like a faucet, and your expenses are like the drain. If you have a leaky faucet, high expenses, and a wide open drain, poor spending habits, it doesn't matter how much water income is flowing in, you'll always struggle to fill the tank, your savings and investments. The key to financial success is to focus on both sides of the equation, increasing your income and controlling your expenses. Start by creating a budget and tracking your spending. Identify areas where you can cut back on unnecessary expenses and start directing more of your income towards savings and investments. Remember, even small, consistent contributions to your investments can add up to significant wealth over time thanks to the power of compound interest. It's like a snowball effect. As your investments grow, they generate more earnings, which are then reinvested to generate even more earnings, and so on. So, don't let the myth of needing a high income hold you back. Focus on developing good financial habits, managing your money wisely, and investing consistently, regardless of your income level. Remember, financial freedom is attainable for anyone who's willing to put in the effort and make smart choices with their money. Let's talk about investing. Now I know what some of you might be thinking. Investing? That's only for rich people, right? Wrong. This is one of the biggest myths out there and it's keeping so many people from building real wealth. The truth is, investing is for everyone regardless of your income level or how much money you have to start with. You don't need to be a Wall Street tycoon or have a trust fund to get started. In fact, thanks to technology and the rise of online brokerage accounts, investing has never been more accessible. One of the biggest misconceptions about investing is that you need a lot of money to get started. But the reality is, you can start investing with as little as a few dollars. There are platforms like Robinhood that allow you to buy fractional shares of stocks, meaning you can own a piece of a company like Apple or Amazon without having to shell out hundreds or thousands of dollars. Another common fear is that investing is too risky. While it's true that there's always some risk involved in the stock market, it's important to remember that investing is a long-term game. Over time, the stock market has historically trended upwards. 
and by investing consistently and diversifying your portfolio, you can minimize your risk and maximize your potential returns. The key to successful investing is to start early and be consistent. The earlier you start investing, the more time your money has to grow, thanks to the power of compound interest. Even if you can only afford to invest a small amount each month, it will add up over time, especially if you're reinvesting your earnings. So, don't let the myth that investing is only for the wealthy hold you back. Educate yourself, start small, and be consistent. Remember, the best time to start investing was yesterday, but the second best time is today. Let's be real. Talking about personal finance isn't exactly the most exciting topic at a party. It can feel dry, complicated, and maybe even a little intimidating. But the truth is, financial literacy is crucial for anyone who wants to achieve financial success. It's not just about knowing how to budget or invest, it's about understanding how money works, how to make it work for you, and how to avoid common financial pitfalls. Think about it this way. Would you attempt to bake a cake without first learning how to read a recipe? Or try to fix your car without any knowledge of mechanics? Probably not. Yet, when it comes to our finances, many of us are winging it, hoping for the best, and wondering why we're not getting the results we want. Financial literacy empowers you to make informed decisions about your money. It helps you understand concepts like budgeting, saving, investing, debt management, and more. It allows you to see through marketing hype, avoid predatory lending practices, and make choices that align with your long-term financial goals. The good news is, becoming financially literate doesn't require a finance degree or hours of studying complex textbooks. There are countless resources available online and offline, from blogs and podcasts to books and courses that can teach you the fundamentals of personal finance in an accessible and engaging way. Start by reading personal finance books, listening to podcasts, or following financial experts online. Take a course or attend a workshop. Talk to a financial advisor. The more you learn, the more confident you'll become in managing your money and making smart financial decisions. Remember, financial literacy is not a one-time event. It's an ongoing journey of learning and growth. The more you invest in your financial education, the better equipped you'll be to navigate the complexities of personal finance and achieve your financial goals. For generations, we've been taught that a savings account is the responsible, safe, and reliable way to save for the future. While it's true that a savings account is an important part of a healthy financial plan, relying solely on a savings account to secure your financial future can actually do more harm than good. The problem with savings accounts is that they typically offer very low interest rates, often barely keeping pace with inflation. Inflation is the rate at which prices for goods and services rise over time, meaning that the money you have in savings today will have less purchasing power in the future. So, while your money might technically be growing in a savings account, it's actually losing value over time. To truly grow your wealth and outpace inflation, you need to explore alternative investment options that offer the potential for higher returns. This could include investing in the stock market, real estate, bonds, mutual funds, index funds, and more. Now I know what you might be thinking, but aren't these investments risky? Yes, all investments carry some level of risk, but by diversifying your portfolio, investing for the long term and doing your research, you can minimize your risk and maximize your potential returns. Before diving into any investment, it's crucial to do your due diligence, understand the risks involved, and consider your own financial situation and risk tolerance. It's also a good idea to consult with a financial advisor who can provide personalized guidance and help you create an investment plan that aligns with your goals. Remember, investing is not about getting rich quick, it's about making your money work harder for you over the long term. By exploring alternative investment options and developing a sound investment strategy, you can potentially earn higher returns, outpace inflation, and secure your financial future. So there you have it, the top 5 financial myths that could be holding you back from achieving your financial goals. Remember, it's not about your current income, it's about your financial habits, your knowledge, and your willingness to challenge conventional wisdom. Don't let these myths control your financial destiny. Take control of your money, educate yourself, and start making decisions that align with your long-term financial well-being. Remember, financial freedom is within your reach. It just takes a little effort, a willingness to learn, and the courage to challenge the status quo. If you found this video helpful, please give it a thumbs up, subscribe to the channel for more financial tips and advice, and share this video with anyone else who might benefit from busting these financial myths. Let's break free from limiting beliefs and create a brighter financial future together.